In this video, I'm going to show you how to send your crypto out from your Ledger hardware wallet. You can send it anywhere, but the most common is probably to the exchange that you purchased that crypto on, like the popular exchange Coinbase, to sell it for fiat. Shout out to Vivian, Vidchunks, and a couple others who requested this video. I'll show you how to do it on both a computer and your phone. This will work for any Ledger device, so the S, the X, and the brand new S Plus, which I have reviewed on this channel. Link to that will be up here and down below. I'm going to show the X because it's my preferred device and you can also find a link to buy it down below, but it's pretty much the same for all three. So there's a couple things you'll need. First, you will need to set up your Ledger Nano device. And if you need help with that, watch the first half of my setup guide, which again will be up here and down below. You'll also need crypto on it to send, of course. And if you need help with that, Check out my guide up here and down below, which will show you how to send crypto to your ledger. Second, you'll need an address to send your crypto to, like the exchanges where you bought it originally. Obviously, I can't show you how to send every single crypto to every single exchange, so I'm going to send good old fashioned Bitcoin to Coinbase as an example, but it's pretty much the same for any other exchange. If you want a full guide on how to use the Coinbase platform, as well as 30 to $40 of free crypto, Check out my video up here and down below. With all that out of the way, let's get into it. All right, so here we are in coinbase.com and we've already logged in. So what you wanna do is search for a like receive or deposit button and you can go ahead and see that at the top right here. Uh, so this is where you're gonna find your addresses to deposit into. So let's go ahead and click the button and then you'll see this pop up and we don't need to let it finish loading. We'll just hit receive. And so there you go. There is your address down here for uh, USDC. Now we wanna make sure that we get the right asset. And like I said, we're gonna go ahead and do Bitcoin. So let's go ahead and click this button here. And you know, you can search for it up here if you need to by typing it in, but you know, you can see it right here. So here's Bitcoin. So we'll go ahead and click that. And here we go. Here is the Bitcoin address for my Coinbase account. So you can go ahead and hit this copy button a few times just to make sure that we got it. And you'll see that little check mark when you do copy it. All right, so now that we have it here, uh, let's go ahead and actually send our Bitcoin from our ledger onto Coinbase. So to do that, we'll head over to Ledger Live, which is down here and right there. All right, so here we are in Ledger Live. You'll start out in the Portfolio tab, but let's head over to Accounts over here. So go ahead and click Accounts. And then like I said, we're gonna be sending Bitcoin. So let's scroll down to Bitcoin, which is right here. And then we're going to be sending this. So we're going to hit the Send button. I know, real shocker. So uh, as far as the address, we have that pasted in our clipboard, but if you need to get it again, you know, I have it over here. So let's go ahead and Control V. And let me pull this over to the side just to make sure that we have it. So if you compare the two, you can see that yes, they are the same. So let's go ahead and click continue. All right, so next we have to choose the amount that we wanna send. So I'm just going to send uh, 0.0009 Bitcoin. And you'll see that is the equivalent of uh, 2665. And you can also type in here and it'll convert it for you to so 2665. There you go, it's uh, you know just a little bit under that 0 0.009 that I said. Okay, so if we scroll down, you can see the gas fees. So now you have slow, medium, and fast. Uh, I always recommend just doing medium and that's the default. And you know, it says on the right, it says 15 sats per byte, which is like, you know, what does that even mean? Uh, but if you look down here, it says uh, the actual network fee in Bitcoin and then as well as US dollars. And as you can see, the network fee is 62 cents, which is not bad considering at one point it was like over $20. And so actually I'm going to go back up here and just do 0 0.003 because I wanna leave some for later when I show you how to do this on your phone. So network fee is still 62 cents. And remember that you'll need to leave some in your account to actually pay for network fees. Um, so you can fine tune it to you know get that exact amount, but just as a heads up, you will need slightly more than the amount that you want to send uh, due to network fees. So let's go ahead and click continue. All right, here's the summary. So it says from my Bitcoin to address to the Coinbase address, the amount is 0 0.0003 Bitcoin, great. Network fee, still 62 cents, cool. And it also says your total to debit. This is the total amount that's going to be taken out of your ledger, including network fees. So I just went back out to check something and now I'm back in. So. 
looks like the network fee is still right around the same. So let's go ahead and hit continue and it's going to load. So now you'll see this on your ledger, it says review output number one. So let's go ahead and go over uh, and approve because everything looks good. And then it's going to come up with a second prompt. So confirm transaction. So let's go ahead and go over to this one. So this is the actual transaction and let's go ahead and accept and send. So there we go, it says transaction has been sent. And now we'll wait a few seconds for it to show up in Coinbase. All right, so we're back in the Coinbase site in the assets tab. So if we just go down to Bitcoin, which is what we sent, and we go to wallet, and might need to refresh the page here. All right, yeah, so I just needed to refresh the page. So as you can see here, I received Bitcoin, it's still pending, uh, but we have indeed received it. So now let's go over how to do this on your phone. So just a heads up, you can only do this with a Nano X, which has Bluetooth, or with an Android phone where you can plug it straight in. Okay, so here we are in the Coinbase app. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is we need the address to send it to first. So let's go ahead and hit the receive button and you'll see that this is our USD coin address. So we need to find the right one. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that and then we're gonna go select Bitcoin. So now we're going to copy this. So hit the copy button three times or four times, however many it takes, just to make sure that we got it. So now let's go ahead into Ledger Live. So right at the top, you'll see this is where you first land when you open it. You'll go and you'll see, if you scroll over on this little bar here, you'll see this send option. So let's go ahead and click that. Then we gotta choose the account to send it from. So we're going to go with uh, Bitcoin 2, just like last time. And for the address, you can just go ahead and click this button on the right of the field box right here. So then that'll paste it right in there for you. And if you've been watching carefully, you'll see that this address is actually different than the address that we used for the desktop. This is because Coinbase likes to rotate their addresses. And just to clarify, they actually do this for all crypto to increase your privacy and many other platforms do this as well. Like Ledger does this with Bitcoin addresses. So anytime you receive a transaction, they'll just generate you a new one and any previous addresses still work. It's just better to use the new ones for more privacy. Well, I usually recommend saving your addresses in something like a notepad or you know Google Doc. In this, in Coinbase's case, uh, it's always good just to confirm and get a fresh address every time. All right, so it got stuck there for some reason, so I just reopened the app and went back through the flow again. So let's go ahead and hit continue. And for the Bitcoin, we're going to send point 0.0001, which you'll see is about $2.95. And so that looks right, so let's go ahead and click continue. And you'll see the two address is uh, the Coinbase account and you'll see the amount, okay, looks correct. And for fees, we'll go ahead with the medium speed 15 sats per byte, again, what does that even mean? So uh, if you just take a look at the total, it actually includes the US dollar in fees. So it's like 295 before fees and then 358 after fees. So if you do a little bit of math, it's about 63 cents, which is about the same as what we paid last time. That is a static fee. You could send any amount of Bitcoin, it would cost the exact same amount. So we're just gonna go ahead with the medium speed and you'll see that's the total that we're going to use. So let's go ahead and click continue. And then it just gives me this warning that network fees are greater than 10% of the amount, that's fine. Let's go ahead and click continue. So now it wants me to connect the device. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna put my phone down and we are going to wake the ledger up by putting in the pin. All right, so now you'll see that we have to review this output. So let's go ahead and do that. Yep, looks good. And then hit approve and it's processing, then we confirm the transaction. So let's go ahead and accept and send. Processing. All right, so now if we go back to our phone, you'll see that the transaction is sent. So now we just wait for Coinbase to receive it. All right, so that was a lot quicker this time. So if you scroll down a little bit, you can see that we are receiving that 0 .0001 Bitcoin from the ledger that we just sent. So now we have Bitcoin in our Coinbase account. So that's it. That is all you need to do to send your crypto out from your ledger. You guys are loving these bite-sized videos, so let me know what you want to see more of down below. If this video helped you at all, I'd appreciate you leaving a like and, you know, might as well subscribe while you're down there too. Thank you so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter for updates and don't forget to grab your free crypto and stocks using the links down below. Have an awesome rest of your day and I'll catch you in the next one. Take it easy.